We'll do one more run. We'll do a Tethys run. I've been trying to do Tethys with Spell Weakness. It hasn't been working. I'm probably going to go either Chill Wind or Conduit. Conduit's by far my favorite, but when you have Diligent, then you think Chill Wind. And when you get Cuddlebeard, you got to think Chill Wind. Ah, but then you get Conduit. I, I just... I really don't love handheld totem here. I think we take Tethys uh, Conduit. Unit draft. So, I mean, these guys are going to do one damage to the pyre. Um, there's even a chance we kill a lot of them off. But with the, with starting with a Guardian Stone, uh, we can kill off one now. We're going to play a Train Steward. We're going to put a Guardian Stone behind the Train Steward. Um, that's all killing that, so we can just leave that there. I guess we Glimmer here. It doesn't really matter. We really just want that Guardian Stone. There we go. Then... Uh, this should kill... Nothing. So we play this, we play this, toss you here. Uh, flash Freeze kills another one, and we're just trying, we're just trying to get as much, uh, avoid as much pyre damage as possible. It's a little bit tight here, we're gonna need a lot of uh, Frostbite damage onto the boss, which is... Okay, we get one here, which is good. Um, is Glimmer better than a Frozen Lance? I don't think so here. We can Glimmer up top to heal up and get some extra armor. This one's going to be tight. Like, we might take some damage from the boss here. Okay, this helps out a lot. That's one, two, three. Wow, we're actually killing the boss. I'm actually surprised by that. I didn't think we were going to kill it. Um, hmm. With Conduit, Ice Tornado is really strong. I don't think we need another Glimmer. I don't really love Sting here. Although Sting is good for draw. We don't really have any draw right now. But when you have spells that are free... I think we skip. Thorned Hollow is very interesting with all this heal. The only issue is we cannot fit... Oh, we can! We can fit Thorn Hollow, Guardian Stone, and Tethys on the same floor. I actually really like that. We have a lot of regen. A lot of uh, rejuvenation potential here. Um, Titan Sentry would also be good. Burst is going to be the problem here. We don't have a lot of burst right now. But maybe we rely on Frostbite to do that. Don't know yet. There's a Titan Sentry. Time Sentry on a second floor is always a good thing, especially if you get Endless on it. Then you can just play it over and over again. Um, let's give you more Pyre, or give him more base health, and put the uh, Encant Armor onto the Thorn Hollow. Interesting. Interesting setup here. So we're basically going on stacking lots and lots of Frostbite, and then Spikes damage, and then Conduit hopefully picking up Frontliners. But it's a little bit sketchy. Uh, the High Priest is a little bit scary. The extra damage is also a little bit scary, but I think we have enough healing that we can keep our guys alive with the armor. And the fact that our Titan Sentry is endless means that we're going to be able to play him uh, on both floors. And that will help out a lot. We'll put a Train Steward behind. And since we don't need to play any of this yet, we can just uh, play a Flash Freeze on this Overcharged Apprentice. That should be enough to kill it before it reaches the pyre. It is enough. Unfortunately, we can't get the collector, but life's tough. We get as many spikes and healing as we can on this guy. Um, I don't believe we can kill him, but we can put a train steward down, play both of these, and I think we do play the ice tornado now. 
Guardian Stone comes out. We get to heal. Flash Freeze. Uh, I think we do want to stack as much armor as possible before the end of the fight. We don't want to play this Train Steward because we want to play the Titan Sentry next turn. And I think the Titan Sentry just kills him here. Yeah. Yep. Endless Titan Sentry is amazing. Um, we don't need any of this. We don't need another Flash Freeze. We have two already. If anything, we just duplicate one that we already have. Um, skip again. We want, like, high-cost damage spells. So, question. Do we put an Animus of Will behind the Titan Sentry to get more damage? I think it's too many draft units. And as I talked about priority units, right? Like, you want to have a healthy amount of priority units. Two in a build like this is pretty good because it's so important we get Titan Sentry. Titan Sentry holds this build together because we need the Frostbite damage to kill off a lot of the units before they reach our, you know, actual kill floor, which is the Tethys Thorn Hollow floor. We need time. And I just don't think we get enough time if we have a third priority unit in our deck. If anything, we duplicate the Titan Sentry and have two of them, but even that's kind of... can be kind of silly, but I've done it before. And it can be pretty good. Minus one. We want to minus one non-damage spells. So that means restores. We want extra damage on the Glimmer. So the Glimmer is actually a useful AoE. We really want like something like Ancient Synergy would be huge. Um, what do we want an upgraded version of? It's not Titan Sentry. I, I don't think we can afford to get rid of Thorn Hollow right now. Um... What would be a better version of a spell? A free Ice Tornado is a free Ice Tornado, but we already have Ice Tornado. Like, it's already going to be free because of Conduit. Maybe a Flash Freeze? Or do we try to survive without Thorn Hollow for a few times? Maybe it's the Guardian Stone. Or do we try to survive without Titan Sentry for a couple of turns? And then he comes back and he gets extra stats. I don't know. Uh, I, I think it's got to be a spell, not a unit. And I think I'm going to put it on a Flash Freeze. I think we can survive if he turns out a Flash Freeze. But we're going to want them for the end. And if we can get something like zero cost on it, then we can play it on other floors and not feel bad. Or if it gives gold or, if, you know, whatever, right? Like, I guess... A, a Ice Trando would have been pretty good, though, to have with Resolve Triggers, but eh, I think it's fine. We have no qualms putting this guy on the bottom floor because uh, he has Endless. We want the Glimmer here, and we want to just hit you for six. Okay, we're just going to double hit here, put you in the back. Now our Titan Sentry is going to die. As is our... Well, actually, our uh, train steward is living. Kind of surprised. Um, actually, we want to play the restore here. Uh, we don't want to kill ourselves with a flash freeze. So we just won't play it. A uh, okay, Titan Sentry comes back. Triple restore here. Very solid. Uh, we cannot play the train steward. So here's the real question. Are we getting enough damage to start killing these guys? And we are, luckily. But it is very tight. And I think we do play Ice Tornado here. And we just get a huge amount of damage on the to Talos. We're going to play Incants. And we just go all in on Incanting here. We get to play Titan Sentry again. He's probably not killing. Oh my gosh, he's killing. That's amazing. Okay. Wow. Nuts. Deep Offering. Deep Offering is a really good card in this setup. It's better than Gifts for a Guard. We're not taking any more units. And we want more draw. You really want a lot of draw with uh, Seraph the Diligence because you 
you only consume the first spell played, so then every other spell played after that is that much better. No faith in Titan Sentry. I'm just not expecting him to get the kills every time. Um, Thorn Hollow can be upgraded. Guardian Stone can be upgraded. It's probably worth. We're not going to take whatever this is, although I really would like a Relic. We're going to get unit upgrades here as well, although this is like basically the same. I think we go left path here. I don't think we need unit upgrades that much over removal. Double spikes when you have a Thorn Hollow. It's a pretty good pickup. Keep bumping up Conduit. I would maybe take one Chillwind for the just for Relentless Combat. We'll see. We'll see if we need it. I think we're fine here on damage. We hopefully roll Titan Sentry early. We got him. And we get to get double triggers here. Yeah, I think so too. We're going to get a lot of uh, incants onto, or uh, a lot of restores onto Thorn Hollow. I think that should be sufficient. If we're super lucky, we would also get... Uh, let's put you here. We would also get um, Spreading Spores after uh, Ring 6, but we'll see. These Glimmers are huge. And then I think we just play the Train Steward out to die. Sorry, buddy. Uh, hit, 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 restore, and I quite like the deep offering here. Very solid. 20, so we're now doing 48 damage for spikes, with spike damage, which is pretty good. Uh, it is 12.50 a.m. I switched my streams to night streams, and then I just wake up later. I was having insomnia anyway. So I switched my stream up to be uh, an evening stream for myself, and then I'm going to uh, sleep in the mornings instead of what I've been doing, which is uh, playing super early. How are we doing? Titan Century. And the kind of nice thing is we actually get a lot of armor. Like, it's not... That's not bad. And we didn't even get through our armor. I don't think Unnamed Tome is it. I don't, I don't think it's necessary. Spike of the Stygian, though, when you have Cuddlebeard, is pretty good. Preserve Thorns with Seraph the Diligent is also very legit. Bramble Lash was also a consideration. Certainly a consideration. Um, yeah, we take it now. This blanket's getting fuzz in my mouth. Um, here we take the unit upgrades. I don't have anything I want to duplicate. So plus 25... We give you plus 10 in damage. And I I really don't care enough to reroll. We're fine. We will gain an artifact. We will gain 25 coins. Um, do we want to start yeeting? Uh, I think I go... Um, we'll see. We'll see. I think we, we wait to eat. We'll eat later because uh, there's some really good artifacts still we could get. Armor 15 should not be a problem. The sweep should also not be a problem. We will gain enough armor. And I believe we will do enough damage. We'll put Titan Sentry on the second floor instead of the first floor. And then uh, I think we just go all in on flash freezes on you. Yeah. Titan Sentry rolls out, and then we just go... 
I realized now I just played them backwards. Uh, whoops. Let's try that again. There we go. Do that again. Dying Sentry pretty much kills all of them. Effectively kills all of them. The question is, are we getting enough spike damage to kill this guy? Uh, Preserve Thorns helps out a lot with that. Really? What was the build? I actually don't want to play the uh, deep offering right now. Okay, so we play you out. We have to play Ice Tornado. I think... I, I think we have to play it. And then we restore. Oh, that's right! Ah, that's right! Man, that was a long time ago. I mean, it feels extra long because of uh, Corona times, but... Wow! Memories, man. I think we do onto Deep Offering here. We can Glimmer, Sting, Frozen Lance, and we will take 4 damage. Those community challenges, they were a thing once upon a time, way back when. Oh man, we gotta get those tournaments rolling, I really think it will be fun. I think we get a lot of participation, at least based on what Reddit seemed to indicate, a lot of people would be interested in doing something like that. We do not have a lot of regen, but I think with the uh, 43 spikes that are doubled, we should be just fine. Yeah, that tournament was awesome. I think we just need to uh, get people to be willing to join. Don't love any of this. Uh, no. Awake? Can we fit an Awake in this build? I think so. I think so. We're having fewer and fewer spells that are need upgrades once we get to uh, uh, Conduit 3. And... Yeah, I, I'm thinking that we do uh, Saturdays like 9, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. At least that's what I've been thinking. Double stack. Double stack on Spike seems okay. Minus one. And I think we can minus one on this, or do we minus one on the Awake again? I'm certainly not going to remove Consume at this point from that. Doesn't make sense anyway, we want to use it Consumed. I think it's worth removing a, the last two Train Stewards here. It's pretty bad to hold on to them for so long. I'm also thinking about Frozen Lances, but the Frozen Lances at least can get played for free. So they're not like... Completely garbage. So... What are our two spells? Okay. Well, it was bound to happen. Luckily, you don't do any damage anyway. Get you up here and do this. We're probably going to get spells just to spite us this next turn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the perfect turn to play Awake, so why wouldn't we? Um, we can do Awake here instead. And then... I think I do like playing Preserves. I mean, we might as well hit him. It doesn't do anything, but... Yeah, even, even my daughter knows to remove Train Stewards. <laughs> We're gonna go one, two... Flash Freeze... And we'll hold on to this. Glimmer, Frozen Lance, Frozen Lance. Ice Tornado should be what puts him over the edge. And then we can restore. Cool. Now we're in good shape. Uh, it should be Rally. It is Rally. Okay. 
Just keep stacking. Spikes. We're going to lose Titan Sentry next turn. Ideally. Ah, he's not going to die. We might kill him. We'll see. Awake is huge here. Double restores. I mean, this is all fantastic. Now he's dead. Um, just stack. And yeah, we'll play it out. I mean, they're dying from uh, spikes. He's doing 86 damage from spikes right now. Hundred and twenty, it's not bad. I think we can afford deep offering here. We don't play the spikeless Stygian yet. Um play this out here. Play everything. Oh my gosh. It's actually close. You see how close that was? Like that was not that was not a guarantee. And he's doing 25 damage per hit, so it's it's not nothing. But we still managed it in the end. Horfrost. Um, Horfrost is a win condition. Hyperathon. Welcome to you and your crew. Thanks for the raid. <laughs> Small raid. <laughs> uh, um... So welcome if you have not watched before to the stream. Uh, I don't think we need Horfrost Effigy as our win condition. I think Spikes. You're right, I'm nameless. I've not done a name of the day for a while now. I need to I need to start doing that again. I will start this again. We will start doing names names of the day. Um, I still like spell upgrades here. And we will make, I think Spike needs to be at neutral cost. I don't know that we need Permafrost in anything. We could put it on this like Flash Freeze for no reason. Plus 10 damage onto the other Glimmer so that it's actually useful. Uh, minus one on Deep Offering. Question mark? No, it's restores. We don't want anything that's going to consume. What do we want to hold over? Is it a flash freeze? We can't guarantee we play flash freeze. Is it glimmer? Maybe it's glimmer. It doesn't add any regen, but it does add spikes and it is AoE. I kind of like it. And then we'll add 10 damage to the uh, Ice Tornado. Cool. We can remove two cards. Um, worst cards in our deck right now are Frozen Lances. I also should make Deep Offering cheaper, maybe. Or get Permafrost on it. We are going to go Conduit 3. I don't think we want the Sweep. Uh, okay, let's go. Ring 7 should not be a problem. We're going to get garbage units, but they should die to the Titan Sentry. With armor, though. Ooh, with armor. That's kind of scary. I don't think we need the coins that much. That's, like, guaranteed lots of damage. So we're not going to risk it. We're going to play up here with our buddies. We're going to make sure you die. Uh, play you play you. Cool. Then Titan Sentry comes out in a big way. We can get that. And then just uh, stack up your spikes. So this is not... The first unit here is going to be pretty brutal. Although we can immediately smack him up and then we can spike of the Stygian him. I think that's worth it. He's going to do... 10 damage to our Pyre? That's not bad. OK, 
Okay, this is uh, actually I think we're actually we're gonna be killing everything. So we glimmer. We preserve thorns. One, two, three. We ice tornado. We flash freeze. We frozen lance. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me! Four damage. We're gonna take ten more damage. But imagine if we'd taken the armor, like we'd be in actual trouble here. So I'm really happy we did not take the trial. Frozen Lance. Um, awake. Restore. And then it's a question of, does Deep Offering make more sense here? We could get some, like, decent damage spells out of this. Or we could just get, you know, crappy Frozen Lances. We're going to take another 10. And every time I'm just, like, really glad we didn't take the challenge because uh, that would have wrecked us. Double flash freezes. And then all in on the spikes here. All in. We're actually killing this guy. Wow, okay. We took a lot of pyre damage. Get our buddy out again. We're gonna keep stacking up. Go nuts. 105 armor should be enough. 65 spikes. That's a lot of spikes. Let's just kill him. Hey, and we got two uh, fire health back. Solid. Um, no. Edge prior is interesting if we could fit him, but we can't fit him, so we're not going to try. I don't think the root is going to make sense either. I mean, it would be AoE and spikes, but I think it's okay. Uh, we're definitely going to go left path here. We're going to get rid of foregone powers, I believe. Or not foregone powers. Uh, frozen lances. Let's see what trinkets we have. Gnarled root is a lot of extra damage. Hold over minus one. Um, I think it's Gnarled Root. And then I think we go all in on spells. We're going to minus one, another restore. Um, hold over nothing. I don't really want to hold over anything. Remove Consume from nothing. Minus one on another restore. Plus 10 damage to the Ice Tornado. Okay. And do we remove a final foregone or a final frozen lance? I think so. They're pretty worthless. Even though you do want a lot of spells, I think we have a lot of spells. We're gonna be able to consume stings, we're gonna be able to consume um, Spike of the Stygian, our deep offerings. I think we have spells that we can consume. Okay, so then here's the question. We can Glimmer here. We're good. We play these guys out. We sacrifice Glimmering one time so that we can get no garbage in the deck. I think that's absolutely worth it. Um, the armor on this is not as important. Let's just stack up as much as we can. We're certainly not going to play a Flash Freeze on ourselves. This guy is making it to the pyre, and there's nothing I can do about it. Play you. Play you. Um, I kind of like just getting early frostbite, but it's just like it's so little damage. But it is a consume. I think we do it. It's not, it's not amazing. Or do we consume the one cost restore now? Consume the one cost restore and keep the spike decision for later. Might be better. I think we do that. We should try to go for at least a two. A two ember spike of the Stygian. Okay, this is the deep offering. Just realizing now deep offering is a little bit awkward because you want to play it at the beginning of your turn. Uh, but it's fine. We still play it. We get the holdover glimmer. We can ice tornado. 
and we can awake. And still not dying yet. This is a good turn for him to die. Um, what do we get rid of now? Sting? Definitely a sting. Glimmer, glimmer, restore, restore. Restore, sting. Very solid. How much frostbite do you have? 10? I think now is the time. We give you 22 extra frostbite. Which is like, a lot. And then we just go nuts on this floor. We take the damage. It's like, whatever. Three pyre damage does not matter. Alright. We get rid of another sting. We double glimmer. Um, restore. And since we are killing both already, we can actually go double frostbite, or double flash freeze onto Seraph. Putting 52 Frostbite onto him. Which is really good. Okay, this is perfect. Titan Sentry's gonna die. We will Glimmer at the bottom floor. Or maybe we Ice... No, we will Glimmer on the bottom floor. Um, I think we can... Yeah, we get rid of another Sting. Restore, restore. Ice Tornado. Awake. And then we Glimmer. But Glimmer keeps you alive. We take one... We take one garbage. In order to uh, make sure... We get a full, full, uh, Titan Sentry turn here. I think we now get rid of Glimmer. No, we get rid of a Restore. Awake, Glimmer, Restore. I am just actually amazed that we didn't get any leaks here. I thought for sure we would have a lot of leaks. But somehow we managed it. We can get rid of the flash freeze now. Right now it's all about getting as much regen as possible. To make sure that we can finish him during Relentless. I mean with 120 plus all the spikes damage, yeah, we're good. We take one fire damage. Cool, cool. A very, very solid run. So three very good runs in a row. Um, Hornbreaker Prince, Sentient, and Tethys. We had a really crappy Hornbreaker Prince run before that. Yeah, really liked this setup here. Guardian Stone plus Thorn Hollow. So Tethys is never going to die to sweep. Like I think this was just really, really solid. And then you had the Titan Sentry floor to pick off people before they made it to the floor. It's really strong. I mean, Titan Sentry as a standalone with Endless is one of my favorite things. You just, like, you put him on a floor. He dies. You put him back. He dies. You put him back. It's really, really, really strong. And then getting both spikes is, you know, pretty rare, but great when it happens. The Cuddlebeard was really relevant for a lot of the fights. Mm -hmm.